Yeah. And this brings us to the simplification model that we have been trying to present, where we have the four base resources. And that can be viewed either uh, from top down or from bottom up. It's very important to understand that it's a process and it's symmetrical. Um, but at the core, in order to have anything created or um, gain, you need to go to the first part of the resource system, and that's human labor. Yep. Nothing is going to happen until someone gets out of the couch and sets his mind up to, to doing something. Yep. It doesn't matter whether we are talking about hunter, hunting uh, or gathering or agriculture or mining. Nothing's going to happen unless someone actually stands up and decides to do something. So the, the, the core resource must be human labor. Yeah, or human activity. Human activity or human labor. Someone needs to put in some work. Uh, and then I know that such someone will say, well, in order for a human being to operate, you need food and shelter and all this. And this is true, but this is a chicken egg story. And this just would bring you into a recklessness ad infinitum. And it's, it's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. We can assume that, that there's a person that is living and operating. And now he's supposed to go out and get some food or other materials, right? Mm -hmm. So no matter whether you are uh, looking at a barrel of oil or a nugget of gold or um, uh, a nail of, um, of corn, it's all the same thing. It comes from human hands doing something. Right. Using other base category of resource uh, yes. raw materials. Because the, the second one that you need is knowledge. You need to know how to supply the need that you have. You, you need to know where the animals are, uh, how to find the route that you want to dig out and eat, um, how to mine the gold. You need some knowledge about the, well, it's fundamentally the algorithms, what operations you need to do in order to succeed. How to turn on your computer, uh, open your Skype account, and record the screen. Exactly, and, and it's, it's, day. Yeah. It, it's it's all about the algorithm. It's all about the the, the process of operations. Um, so it's about programming, really. Mm. The 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 next part, right, um, will be the the needed uh, the the prerequisites, really, uh, the tools that you need to have in order to do that. And then you can uh, again, you can say, well, that has you have to have um, access to those already, so they need to have been made. Mm -hmm. But again, that, that's a chicken and egg thing. So let's assume that that you have access to the tools. Uh, um, that could be uh, a bow for hunting, a pick for mining, um, a shop for reselling. No matter what you're doing, you need the structural well. Mm -hmm. You need the tools. So yeah, you need the, the knowledge how to do it, you need the tools to do it, and you need the to put in the energy, the activity, the labor. Yeah, but the, but the labor goes first. Mm -hmm. Always first, because that's really what drives the whole process through to the goal. And of course, uh, better tools uh, and more knowledge can lead to more efficient, more productive labor. Yes, and that's about refining. Mm -hmm. But again, when you have your human labor, your knowledge about the operation, the tools to, to commit uh, yourself to the act, you can get the target, you can get your goal, you can catch your prey, you can find your potatoes, you can build your house, mm -hmm. but you need those three. And Right. The and last one is really the raw materials, yes. and in, in some cases the raw materials is the needed materials to, say, build a house. 
or it's the actual target that you want to get. Mm -hmm. So you you get that um, four tier system where you got human labor or work, you got knowledge or experience, you got um, uh, structural wealth uh, or the tools, and you got the raw materials. These are the things that you need, but it's always in that order. Mm 